actually in the Jiangsu province. We've actually moved from Beijing. Behind us, right there, you see the governor of California and also his wife, first partner, Jennifer Siebel Newsom. They just signed a few moments ago a, a memorandum of understanding to work with this region on climate. You see up there, offshore wind. This area and China itself has more offshore wind production than anywhere else in the world. And um, that is something that they hope to work with California on. This stop, one of many stops the governor is doing around China. Governor Gavin Newsom visits the forbidden city in Beijing as a way to encourage tourism between the U.S. and China. Newsom getting a private tour before it opens to the public. Governor Newsom checking out the architecture at the Forbidden City, which was the home of China for over 500 years, with 24 emperors living right here. I asked the governor what being here means to him. Put your own short moment in life in perspective uh, and have a deeper appreciation and understanding of the cultural expression. On this day, the governor also hosts a town hall with students at Peking University, lunches with a top environmental minister, and is celebrated by U.S. Embassy staff. All of it captured by China State TV and broadcast across the country. U.S. Ambassador to China Nicholas Burns says all this talk about California could help revise Chinese tourism to the Golden State. I'll give you a data point. There were 1.2 million Chinese tourists in L.A. alone in 2019 but only 161,000 last year. Mm. That's because of COVID restrictions. Burns by Newsom's side for this week's meeting with Chinese President Xi and all of the top Chinese officials. He says President Biden fully endorses Newsom's trip. Governor Newsom saw the Chinese leadership. He was able to put issues on the table that were important for California and for the United States, which is why from my perspective as the ambassador here, he helped the U.S. this week. It's my wife, Jennifer. It's the first day first partner Jennifer Siebel Newsom joins the trip, which so far has focused mostly on climate change. Why is it important for you to come on this trip? The climate focus and building bridges and connecting and seeing the humanity in each other. And now you see a group photo, the governor and some of his top advisors and the first partner happening right now here in the Jiangsu province. Shortly after this, we're going to take a high-speed rail to Shanghai. Uh, and talk about that as well. Reporting on, it's kind of crazy we're able to do this live from China. <laughs> so, uh, Marla, Christine, back to you. I almost feel like we should let you go because it looks like the entourage there and press are on the move. We, we are on the move. Bit of a reception happening over here. Um, but uh, yeah, yet another busy day. It really has been a, a joy to be able to join you guys from China every night this week. And you are coming home when? Very, very late Sunday night, early Monday morning. Okay. So we'll all see right. you back in LA next week, but we'll have more reporting all weekend. Of course you will. I know. There's still Shanghai. Y you said high speed rail. <laughs> You're checking that out next. You're on your own high speed mm -hmm. tour, Alex. That's for sure. Exactly. Okay. Moving fast. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys.